Welcome back to another edition of the Expat Weekend Vlog. I think it's number six now. I got home around nine last night and I uh, was gonna do some work on the computer, maybe promote the channel, whatever it was, and then I realized that I didn't have the uh, computer charging cable. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's really annoying to forget the cable every single time. I was planning on going back to the Hagwan and get the cable, but then I just simply collapsed. I put the kids to sleep and I was thinking about getting up and starting to record the vlog last night, take you around the dark streets and dark alleys of the neighborhood. But then I just decided to go to sleep. So this morning is starting and the first assignment is to get some dish soap. Liam's requested uh, French toast. Mali's gonna have the regular side dishes and rice but I need to wash some dishes. So I need some dish soap. And that's done for today, the first assignment of the day. Got the dish soap, got some food for Coco. Canned food, he hasn't had canned food in a long time. I usually feed him dry food. Uh, we don't really feed him food off the table unless we're, we're making some samgyeopsal, we're frying some bacon. Uh, and occasionally, I guess, soft canned food. He also gets chicken bones. And I know what people say that chicken bones are no good because they're very brittle and they break. But he's a little dog. The leg of a chicken is big enough for him to chew on. And he eats most of it. Maybe because the bones are so brittle, he can just chew all of it down and eat it. Reading comic books has pretty much become a morning's routine for Mali and Liam. Every day. Ali, what are you making? You're gonna make popping soup? Mm. Is that milk? Mm. Are you gonna make make milk ice cubes? Babies wanted to go to the park because it's been a very long time since we came down here. So that's where we are. We're at the park. But we have to get over to the bike shop to get some air into their tires because they've gotten very soft. trekked all the way from one side of the park to the other to get some air into Liam's bikes and the Ajuma at the window told me ande ande meaning no no so no air all this walk for nothing she wasn't very nice either was she yeah don't don't come to the park to get air when it's very busy because the women there just don't give so we're gonna head back to the other side of the park and get some ice cream and some air thank you we're going to the other side of the park back some ice cream in air. Okay. It is super duper busy here. <laughs> Kids getting lost, run over. I don't think I've ever seen this many people in this park before. 
Have you, Mali? Mm -hmm. Have you seen as many people here before? Never. Park on a very busy day, then a sunny weekend is the time to do it. ice cream here and it's a twist one but kind of like McDonald used to serve and don't serve anymore you can find it at the Grand Park and what is that I know what is that BH soft ice cream ah that we just trying to figure out what uh, place that is <clears throat> but it's right at the main entrance to the park it's good ice cream so that's a whole day at the park Six o'clock now, I think it's time to get home and make some dinner. We just got to a new restaurant that just opened up recently and there is a line up there. People are waiting. Is a pro tip when you go looking for restaurants in Korea, don't go the one to the ones that are newly opened because you'll be waiting because that's the place to go. People just swarm to brand new restaurant, wait for a month or two before you decide to visit a restaurant that was just opened. And this way you avoid waiting. There's like a gazillion of restaurants in this country. There's no point in waiting for one silly, goofy place that's gonna be open for the next few years. Or at least six months. It's meat for dinner again. We came to this place once before and it was good. And now we're back here. And Mali and Liam, of course, are on the phones like straight away. The green stuff in the middle of the plate is called Minari, which is like a water crescent or something like that, and it's supposed to be very healthy for you. It has a tangy taste to it. I don't know, something different. It's about 20 after 9 in the evening and I'm heading back to the Hagwan because I have an interview scheduled with a potential teacher who's supposed to start work in July at our new branch of Shane Schools. Wow, just had to clean up the camera. It was all sparkly behind me. See how big of a difference a little bit of grease makes on the lens? This interview shouldn't take too long, 20-30 minutes and we're good to go. That's delivery in South Korea. These guys don't mess around, man. To pass a motorcycle driving test, you actually have to uh, pass the most ridiculous test ever device. The motorcycling test is specifically devised for delivery people, for those guys who ride motorcycles around the city. It teaches you how to zoom in and out of traffic and how to drive between cars and uh, how not to get run over by cars basically. But not the way you would expect it to, to do in Canada where you stick to your lane and stuff. No, no. 
the driver's test in Korea teaches you how to make 90 degree angles, 90 degree turns and how to slalom between poles and pretty much perfectly designed to, to weave your way in and out of traffic when everybody's stuck, all the cars are stuck in the middle of downtown and you're on a little scooter and you're in a hurry to get deliveries done. Literally none of these delivery guys have helmets on just the way you saw this dude drive around. And then people say that riding a motorcycle is dangerous. Of course it's dangerous when you're driving like a maniac without any safety helmets, without any safety gear and you don't have your helmet on. Hello. I like this weird giant white table. <laughs> so bizarre. If you're in the neighborhood of Gong Up Top and you see the, this coffee shop here, it's just around the corner, I definitely recommend you stop by because it's, uh, it's a very cool place. It's been open for only a month, but it's a very artsy-fartsy place and not uh, unlike any other coffee shop that's here. Uh, most coffee shops in Korea have seemed to have adopted a very standard uh, interior um, and this one's very different, so come check it out. Nouveau Sange and they make very good pastries and stuff so and we're back back to reality oops there goes gravity on my way home might start to edit the video this may be the end if it is the end Please remember to leave a comment, subscribe, ask away questions if you have any, suggestions, and I will see you in the next one.